impudent. And now I'm in jail. I wonder why I have to suffer so. You just got in there, dude. You're fine. I wonder what will become of me now. Anyway, I have to think of a way to get out of here. Hey, they let you keep your flute. That's nice of them. Either that or the programmers just didn't want to change the sprite. But, you know. This moss has seen thousands of, thousands of prisoners come and go. There's no way you could know that. Those prisoners must have been encouraged by any sign of life. Um, I mean, I guess you could eat moss. I mean, I don't think you, I don't think it's a good idea, but if you're starving, it's probably better than nothing. Someone was chained to this ball. Yeah, that is kind of a story there. I mean, there's no, uh, there's no, like, clamp at the end. So what happened there? Did they, like, saw it off? And if so, where's the saw? It's locked. I mean, I guess I had to check, right? I mean, it would have been dumb not to check. And this actually is kind of cool. This is um one of the themes of the game is time. A lot of things in this game are time based. See, so just you really just had to wait. It, I, it didn't matter if I talked to anything in there or not. It just I really just had to wait for this guy to give me the bread. I eat the bread. It's hard. Worst thing he's ever tasted, and he's eaten snail pie. Nah, I just gotta wait a little bit longer. Time passes slowly, but the long day is ending. It pains me to think of the prisoners' feelings, not knowing what they should do. While I was trying to think of a way out, I drifted off to sleep. A familiar voice speaks from the flute. Will... This is your father. You were a cute child, but now you've grown up. Isn't Grandma Lola's pie delicious? Why would that be the first thing you say to me? Uh, sure, Dad. Where are you? I can't tell you now. I mean, you find out later, and there's really no reason why I can't tell you, but... I have something to ask of you. Listen. Yes, if it's your wish. I want you to save me. But for some reason I won't tell you where I am. I too was once held in this cell. Look at the left hand wall. My left or your... Have you heard anything from Grandpa Bill? Uh... Grandpa, he was an architect. Your grandpa knows the secret of that stone. Um, okay. Secret? Starting now, you will encounter a terrible thing. Do I have to? Dude, same. Pick up the stone your enemy left. The power of the crystal is contained there. That power will prove to be your ally. You must make a pilgrimage to the ruins of the world to find the mystic statue. This is coming out of nowhere. The closer you get to the crystal, the stronger the evil power will be. Will, no time. Quickly, first to the ink and runes. Wait, what crystal? I played through this game several times. I don't remember there being a crystal. Hmm. The flute's voice fades and disappears. Oink, oink. Being saved by a pig. It's locked. No, the pig. I wonder if this is Kara's pig. I mean, 
The odds are pretty good. What? Look, there's a letter and a key tied to its tail. The letter read, Sorry to hear that you're in prison. It's terrible what my father has done. But hear what I have to say. I, too, am a prisoner. In a prison of silk and gold. You know what? Screw you. Your prison sells way better than mine. But tonight, I will leave the castle forever. You also will be free, Kara. Don't ask how I got the prison key. It's a long story. I have the key. Okay, now I gotta work through the kind of odd item system here. Okay. Y button to use. As he turns the prison key, the steel door opens with a dull sound. Clunk. Oh, look at dark space. Well, push the start button to see the locations of your enemies. Find the demons and defeat them. Okay, record what's happened so far. Sure. Finish recording. Continue your journey. Yes, as I said, always yes. As he turns the prison key, the steel door opens with a dull sound. I need his help. I can help him so. You know what? I'm just going to relock this and walk away. And we'll see if you get out by yourself. Ah, bats, bats. Okay, this game has a really cool way of leveling up. Instead of getting XP for each enemy you kill, you have to kill all of the enemies in a certain area. And instead of leveling up, what will happen is one of your main stats, one of your three main stats, will go up. And I always thought that was really cool because it, it it incentivizes you to explore. And, and it kind of makes you not rush. You know? It's kind of cool. The developers kind of incentivize you to see all the cool stuff they put in. So you see, kill these bad guys. Kill this guy who's gonna shoot me. Yeah, take that. Alright, that skill man over here. Alright, here we go. Okay, every time there's a little space here, you know that this guy's gonna come out. Alright, here we go. New bats. Take that skeleton, take a flute. I thought I was the coolest guy in the world when I figured out how to do that jump attack. Forward, forward, hit. attacks now. They do more damage. That makes me cool. Let's pull this up. And now there's a floating flower. When I first saw this, the first time I played this game, I thought that was a bad guy, so I was trying to hit it. And then it would say, hey, what are you doing? And I'd be like, what are you doing? You're a flower. You're floating around my head. So of course I'm going to take a swat at you. I mean... First of all, I'm allergic. Flowers are like my worst enemy. Take you out. Take you out. 
these things aren't bad guys, they're just obstacles. Got an herb. It's a healing item in this game. Hit this guy again with my loot. Yeah. Take that bat. And I believe I'm about to get to one of the better parts of the game. Because, well, as cool as Will is, in the end, he's just a boy with a flute. But we're about to meet my favorite character. Oh no, they're throwing spears at me. When I was a kid, I was kind of dumb, so I never really put together that was supposed to be guards, like, on the walls throwing spears. That never really stuck with me. I just thought they were falling from the ceiling. Now it's rusted shut. Oh no, whatever will I do? Boom! Ooh, fire guy. What are you... When you defeat the enemies, a shiny silver dark gem will appear. Collect a hundred of those, you gain one life. Even if you're defeated, you won't have to go back very far. I found a red jewel. Yeah, get that crap out of your bat. Now, I always thought this was like the first boss of the game, but it's really not, because this game has the coolest boss music of all time, and it, it is not playing here, so... I usually kill him before this, so I'm not sure what he's doing. Yeah. Did I miss a couple? I get this I'm getting this weird feeling that I missed a couple gems. So We're feeling like I missed gems. Ah. Because they wouldn't give me another heart one immediately after giving me a heart one. This has increased. So, what is my uh, condition? Strength 2, defense 1. I thought that said my defense increased. Okay, whatever. Maybe you start out with zero defense. I mean, it's not like this is all going to culminate in a final boss battle, but it's almost impossible if you don't have all the, the gems. Which it totally will. All right, come back here. You know, that's just rude. You didn't even try to hit me. You're just trying to inconvenience me. All right, here we go. Gonna pass this guy. Hopefully he did not respawn. He did not. Hello, flower. Try playing the flute. Play the melody. Music is an item in this game. We're going to go back. And I'm going to play the melody. A soft voice from somewhere. Go to the switch on the right hand wall. I have no idea who the voice is supposed to be, and I'm not really doing different voices. 
because I'm not good at it. The door won't open unless you push this switch on the count of three. That seems kind of arbitrary. When I shout, push the switch. I'll count one, two, three. Don't make a mistake. A three. Oh. I kind of was thinking it was the net. That made me look like a jackass. So that was three and go. You know what, old man? I'm getting kind of tired of your crap. You know, it's totally my fault. Fine. Ooh, stereo sound. So cool. Yeah, take that. That's right. I'm gonna hit you with your own friend. What are you gonna do about it? All right. Ow. Like I said, this is where we meet my favorite character. What is that? Save first. Oh, you healed me, thank you. Your shape is only temporary. Try standing in front of the statue next to you. You know... If you're gonna tell a, a kid to stand in front of a statue that you know is gonna change him into a different person, give, give him a little more of a heads up than that. I am Frida. I am eternal. Let me help you on your journey. As time goes by, you'll come to understand my nature. Will gradually lose his consciousness. Stranger danger? Awesome. Yeah. I got a sword. No more flute. Running with capes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are all in big trouble now. Boom. That's right. One hit. there and wait and think about it. Come on, I got all day. Ow. Red jewel. Red jewel. There is more of a use to the red jewels than just the collect the ball and you get a thing. You, you get... You get more things progressively as you get them. Like, your health will increase, your attack will increase. I think once you, once you start getting magic powers, they'll increase. Oh, danger's gone. Will's going back to his normal shape. really sucks because as much as I like Will, he's not freedom. Can we go here? Found a red jewel. Damn right. And if I didn't pick that up there and just kept walking, gone forever. And you can't get the extra stuff at the end. That's how cruel this game can be.
yeah, we get it, Super Nintendo. We've got stereo capability. Here's the problem, Doctor. She's so beautiful, but she's a flower. But she's so beautiful. Oh, you're telling me there's nothing in there right now? Okay. Stick a pin in that. We'll get back to it later. Going up. Don't mind me. There's probably wanted posters around the castle for me, but... Let me sleep in good. Of course you've come. Thank you. Was the guard asleep outside? His nickname is Old Snorehead. Sleeping again. Your little pig has come. His name is Hamlet. Cute, isn't he? He's very smart. He has some kind of strange pig power. Please take me out of here. Strange pig power. Well, thank you, Kara. You just named my future band. Stroll right out of here with one of the more important and noticeable people. I'm just gonna stroll on out. Oh wait, it'll be a long trip. We should take food. Would you go to the cellar with me? Now remember when I said put a pin in that? But we're gonna take that pin out, and we're gonna take that little memory, because all of a sudden. Now there's a big roast like a yak in there that I can see. A large, yummy roast leg of yak. You know what? I couldn't possibly know that. we leave. Let's go to your house. I'm worried about your grandparents. They hurry to Will's. such a thing. My grandparents? Grandpa Bill? Grandma Lola? I'll look upstairs. I mean, okay. There's three books on the floor. And one... I mean, it, it's fixable. What happened? Look at the wall. This, this mark, a jackal. The jackal's here. Jackal? He's the hunter, assassin, hired by my mother, an evil man who will stop at nothing. Once he starts after you, there's no stopping him. He has no regard for human life. My grandma, my grandpa and grandma. Hey, there's actually people in my chat. That's awesome. Don't worry, you two. You're the one who... Who are you? I'm Will's friend. Well, I mean... Okay, you were... You were a flower for the most of the time I've met you, so... It's okay. Your, your grandpa and grandma are safe. They're in my village. Your village? Tori Village. I Tori Village? E Tori Village? I've only ever seen any of these written. I've never actually seen any of these or heard any of these spoken, so I'm making all this up. I've never heard of this village. Naturally. My village has a barrier around it. Ordinary people like you can't see it. Snap. 
Let's go, Will. Okay. I'm going to. Okay, she just told you it's a village you can't see. It's far too dangerous for a princess. You can't stop royalty. I do whatever I want. Typical of a princess. You know, I've uh, had enough female friends in my life fight to know that I, I, I don't want to get involved. Or just friends in general fight. And um, before we go to my village, should we talk to the, should we meet the townspeople? Nah, they're kind of... Eh. They're simple folk. I think something good is going to happen. And, well... I mean, overall, I guess, it kind of sucks on the way things get kind of tough. That sounds awesome, because I always thought that was incredibly... a super difficult jackal fight. Again, that, like, spoiler alert, that plot point goes almost nowhere. Like, you don't even hear about the jackal again until you... till almost towards the end of the game. And... you don't really fight him. So... that would be completely awesome. Especially since it's just another chance to listen to this game's awesome boss fight music. Even if I move to another place, I can't pull it up. Sir? Sir, you already pulled it up. I got it from you. Are you okay? Do you need me to call someone? Alright, we're gonna go into the very well-boarded cave. I have not heard of Apocalypse Gaia, but I will check that out. What happened, Will? You look so gloomy. Something you can't tell us about? Ah ha ha, I'm gonna win again for sure. You know, you, you guys, I, I know Eric's kind of an ass, or not really an ass, but kind of a third wheel here. You guys could play a game that involves him. What's the matter? You're not acting like the same old Will. Well, okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot more to do here. I believe I got all the jewels. I could go back to it. Yeah. Wish that made it playable. Oh, that's really cool. I'll check that out. I do love a good rum hack. I'm just going to play in the vanilla version of this game because just for like, I don't know, nostalgia. I do love a good ROM hack. From here on, there will be many hardships. Hmm. You're nitpicking. That's, that's not what that means. That's what I expected. Have you ever been outside the castle? Yeah, she broke into my house with a pig. Crazy girl. Are you totally ignorant of the world? She probably is. Will is my friend, understand? Hey, Will, aren't you my friend too? I guess I am. I'm glad, Will. Let's go hand in hand. Together, the three set off for Lily's village. Yeah, this was like... I mean, even even looking at this, I mean, it's so primitive right now. 
but looking at it, I can just remember how it, it just felt like the height of, like, video games are never going to look this any better than this. And it's just like, ugh. Try playing the melody that called me under Edward Castle. That called to me under Edward Castle. Wait a minute, how did that melody call you? Because I met you before I played that melody. Like the first time I played that melody, I'd already met her. That's a little weird. The melody carried on the wind, spread over the meadow. Were you surprised? There's a barrier around this village. Most people can't see it. The princess is getting to be about... Dude, she's standing right there. On the road, all I heard was, My feet hurt. I'm thirsty. I'm tired of hearing it. I can't help it. My feet hurt. No, I mean, to be honest. Oh, okay. Come with me. I'll show you to my house. There are no other children of Lily's age in this village. Please become friends. Well, lady, nothing makes a friendship more than other people begging you to become friends with somebody. Will, Will, over here. You're safe. Good, good. A terrible thing happened to us. A man called the Jackal came to the house with some soldiers. He almost got us. Grandpa panicked. I destroyed the digestion with a poison marsupial pie. They... They raided your fridge? Okay, I mean... Then I ran away. I mean, they had time to stop and eat when they were assassins? I mean, I guess this is why you don't do that. Lily, thank you. I didn't know that Princess Kara came, too. We didn't ask her to come along. Damn, Lily. It's just cold. Will, this is my house. You can look around the village, but come back here. Lily, wait. I'll go, too. Kara, she doesn't want to be your friend. Well, yes, she has decided we're friends, and sometimes that's just the way. So, oh, that's right, I get the dash power here, pretty awesome. Psycho Dash can now be used. Only young Will can use the Psycho Dash. You can smash walls and obstacles by hurling yourself against them. Use the attack button to save energy. That sounds painful. So basically, I'm the Kool Aid Man. Cool. I am Gaia, the source of all life. I'll give you some advice. Will's power, the Psycho Dash. It can destroy obstacles. Always be alert. If you find a suspicious place, try to destroy it. I mean, that's just great life advice. Record what's, ha re record what's happened so far? Yeah. Finished recording. Continue your journey. As I've said before, always click yes, because if you click no, it's bad times. Yeah, I've never really... 
I've never really thought about what King Edward is actually king of. Because, again, other than Kara being referred to as a princess, they're almost never brought up again. So maybe they're like figureheads? Or maybe... Maybe there's just nuts? Maybe they're like the the guy from Mary Poppins that thinks he's like an admiral on the like on the house and people just kind of put up with it because he's crazy I don't know but uh I think it's getting kind of late for me so I think I'm gonna stop my stream here and uh uh, don't don't bagu me. I really want to I mean you're the first person that's watched the, Yeah, you're the first person that's uh, come into my chat so far so When I get famous which Obviously is gonna happen. I mean obviously spitting hot fire here um, You'd be the first person that's a uh, that uh, chatted on my stream so Thanks for stopping by, man. <laughs>